Okay, so in my opinion, that is the most difficult part that we just did. So uh, now that we've got that out of the way, you'll be needing a 5.5 mil crochet hook. If you are Australian, which you are probably not, this yarn in particular is the Spotlight Standard Worsted or 10 ply yarn as it is here in Australia. 10 ply yarn. So this is the colorway Donkey and it's available at Spotlight. It's their brand. So um, if you're not Australian, just a standard worsted weight yarn will do for this project. So standard brown worsted weight. Okay, uh, let's get started. Okay, now I did forget to mention that we are going to be working in a round for this project. So you will need uh, a stitch marker to help keep your place so that you don't get lost. It's quite easy to get lost if you don't have a stitch marker when you're working around. So make sure you keep him handy. We'll be using him shortly. So we're just going to start with, well, usually we would start with what is called a magic circle or a magic ring. Now, for a very long time, I didn't actually learn to do a magic circle or a magic ring. Uh, I, it was one of those things I just could not master or get my head around. So I actually picked up a cheats way of doing things and I'm going to show you that way today because I still use that most of the time. So I'm going to draw a loop up onto my hook and then I'm going to chain two. So chain one, chain two and into that first chain that's where we're going to work into as our magic circle. So we're starting off with four single crochet. So just go into that one, yarn over and pull through both loops. And again, makes two, three and four. Now that first little uh, chain that we had don't don't worry about him we'll just ignore him so that's that's that one right there so when we pull this he sort of disappears so we'll pull that nice and tight that's that loop there so we're not working into this one for round two we're just going to work straight into this one which would be our first stitch so we've got one two three and four it's a bit difficult to see with this yarn because it's a dark color Maybe I can move out of the light a bit more. There we are. That's better. So now that's uh, round one. Now we're not going to join. We're just going to work straight into the next stitch. And this is why we need the stitch marker. So for round two, we're just going to single crochet around. So in each of those four stitches, we're going to put one single crochet. So after the first one, just pop that stitch marker in so we can remember that that is the first, that's the first stitch of the round. We've got one, two, three, and four. So now we're going to move on to round three, and this round is going to be an increase round. So we'll move that stitch marker, and that's where we're going into, where that one was. So for this one, we're going to start in this stitch, and we're going to do one single crochet in that one, and put our stitch marker back in. And then in the next one, we're going to do a single crochet increase. So that's this one here. So we're going to do two single crochets into that same stitch. Then again in the next one, single crochet. Do the same thing. So we're going to do... Uh, single crochet increase so two single crochets 
into that next stitch. And that's the end of that round. So you should now have six stitches. So you've gone from four stitches to six stitches. So now we're going into round four and we're just going to single crochet around. We are not adding any width in this round. Just a bit of height to our hat. Single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. So we still have six stitches. Now we're going on to round five. Now for this next round, we're going to switch to a double crochet. So to do that, we yarn over, through, pull up a loop, yarn over, through those first two loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through the next two loops. So we're gonna do that in the first stitch, pop that stitch marker in so we remember which one was the first stitch again. And again, in the next stitch, yarn over, into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So in this next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet increase. So we're going to do double crochets again, except in this stitch, we're going to do two in the same stitch rather than one, just like we did with the single crochet increase. And we're going to do that same sequence again in the final three stitches. So double crochet into the first one. Another double crochet into the next and a double crochet increase into that third one there. There we are. Now we can take out the stitch marker and we're going to go on to the next round. So the next round is round six and for rounds six, seven and eight, we are going to do the same thing that we just did in round five. So we can do the double, two double crochet and then a double crochet increase for rows six, seven and eight. And then I will meet you back here for round nine. Okay, so this is how your project should look at the end of round eight. Now we're going on to round nine. So we're going to remove that stitch marker. We're going, for this round, we're going to do three double crochet and then a double crochet increase all the way around. So that I'll show you that. One. Stitch marker back in. One in the next stitch, that's two. One in the next stitch, that will be three. And then we're going to do the increase, so two double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to repeat that again. One, two, three, and increase. Oh, 
whoops, there we are. Now continue that the whole way around and I'll meet you back here at the end of round nine. Okay, so now we're going to begin round 10 and the repeat for round 10 is four double crochet and then a double crochet increase all the way around. So I'll do the first bit. One, stitch marker back in. Two, three, four, and then the double crochet increase in the next. Now continue and like this until the end of the round with the four double crochet and then the double crochet increase. Okay, that's the end of round 10. Now we're going to go on to round number 11 and we're just going to repeat what we did in the last row. So we're going to do four double crochet and an increase all the way around for round 11. Now we're going to begin round 12 and for round 12 we are going to do a 5 double crochet increase in this round. So 1, 2, stitch marker in, 2, Three, four, five, and increase, and continue that one around until we get back to the stitch marker for the next round. So for round 13, we're going to start off with 10 double crochet. In the first, so we're going to do a double crochet in these first 10 stitches. We just need to add a little bit more, a few more increases. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch. And we're going to do that repeat two more times, but that we're still going to have a couple of stitches left over at the end.
then we're going to do our increase and then we do have those two stitches left over and we're just going to put one double crochet in each of those two stitches. And that completes this round. Now this is how we should be looking at this point. So we've got the top of our hat. Now because we're making a sorting hat and we're going to have to shape the face of the sorting hat, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to continue the hat but we're creating a bit of length extra length on one side, on the front side, so that we can make the face. So I'll show you how we're about how we're going to do that. Okay, so our first stitch for this round is going to be a treble crochet. To do a treble crochet, we're going to yarn over twice, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through another two, and then yarn over for a third time and pull through those last two. And that's a treble crochet. So we're going to do another treble crochet in this same stitch because our first stitch is in fact a treble crochet increase. So we're going to yarn over twice into the stitch through the first two through the next two and then through the final two. So that's our first treble crochet increase. Now it's important to remember that the side that we are using to do the trebles is going to be the front. And the side with the double crochets is the back of the hat. Okay, so we're going to continue doing the treble crochet for the next 18 stitches. So yarn over twice, Okay, so let me just check that. So there's our triple increase. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Right, so now we're going to do another increase in this side, but we're switching over to the double crochet now because we're heading to the back of the hat. So for this sti next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet increase. So just yarn over, through two and through two, so that's our double crochet increase. 
Now we're going to continue on, double crochet all the way back around to the stitch marker. Okay, we're up to round 15 now. And for round 15, we're going to start off with a double crochet increase. going to do double, double crochets again in the next 18 stitches. So that's our 18 double crochet and now we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet increase in the next stitch which should be sitting about the halfway point there. So and then we're going to continue all the way back to that stitch marker So this one's going to be making the front a bit longer again, so this is going to be another treble row. So yarn over twice for the treble, so we're going to treble increase in this first stitch. So two trebles in that first one. Then we're going to triple crochet into the next 18 stitches. There's the 18 trebles done. Now we do a double crochet increase in that next stitch. And then continue with double crochet Continue with one double crochet in each stitch until we get back to the stitch marker. Okay, so at this point you should be able to quite easily tell which is the front because of the difference in the pattern where we have the treble crochets. Now at this point we are going to get our circle that we cut out earlier or you can just measure on your head if you like. We're going to continue on doing one double crochet increase in the first stitch and then a double crochet in the next 18 stitches and then a double crochet increase in the next stitch and then finishing off with double crochets. Exactly the same as we did in round 15. So we're going to repeat round 15 until our hat is the right circumference so until this part fits around our head or around our inner circle. So we want it to be big enough. So we're just going to be increasing. So there'll be two increases in each round. And we're just going to keep going until it gets to the right size. And that might be different for everybody. So... I will meet you here when your hat fits around your head. Now that my hat my hat fits over my head, uh, at this point we're, oh, we're going to do another treble row at this point once we've got the width. So we've got the width that we want and now we're going to go straight into a treble row. Now this time, because we've got the right width, we don't want to be doing any increasing. We're just going to do trebles. So we're going to do, this time we're going to do 20 trebles. So that first one. That's one.
even if you don't do exactly 20 trebles, you just want to treble crochet until you get to the halfway point so that you have trebles at the front and the double crochets at the back so it's that little bit longer on one side. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. That's perfect. So now we're going to go back to the double crochet. And we're going to double crochet the rest of the way around. So now I've got that little bit of extra length in the front from those treble rows that we did, which is going to help us when we do the face. So, and we've got the right width. Now we just need to get the right height. So at this stage, uh, usually I'm pretty happy with the height of the hat at this stage, but try yours on. And pop it on your head and have a look in the mirror and see if you like the height of the hat and where it's sitting. We are going to lose a little bit of height with the face at the front so keep that in mind. If you would like to add a little bit of height to your hat just continue on doing double crochet around the hat for as many rows as you see fit and don't put any increases because you've already got the right width so we're just going for height now so um, just continue with double crochet rounds until you get to the height that you want and then I will show you how to do the broom. Okay so this is the point at which we are going to begin making the rim or the peak of the hat we're going to do a five double crochet and then a double crochet increase all the way around. But we for this one, we're going to work just in the back loops only. So yarn over and just make sure you just go into just that back loop instead of going through both loops. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do the double crochet increase, still just in the back loop. So we're going to continue that sequence around until we get back to the stitch marker. So now you'll notice that you have this distinct edge the whole way around and that is where it will fold outwards for the peak of the hat. So at this point you're going to grab your circle that you initially started working with. We're going to match up. We're going to match up that edge with our circle, and we're just going to continue on with this same repeat pattern, with the five double crochet and then a double crochet increase, until we get to the length at the edge of our peak. So, and once we get there, then we're going to start decreasing so that we can wrap around the other side. So 
I will probably need probably another two or three rows. I'll probably do three more rows just to be safe of the five double crochet and then the double crochet increase before I can start decreasing. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll meet you back when I've reached the edge. Okay, so once you have your rim of your hat, your peak, to the desired length, we are going to start decreasing. Now we're going to decrease for the same amount of rows that we increased. So I've got, you can see my little edging here, I've done four rows, one, two, three, four rows of increasing for the peak. So now I'm going to do four rows of decreasing. And to do that, I'm going to double crochet five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. So to do a decrease, I'm going double crochet decrease. I'm going to yarn over, go into this stitch, yarn over, pull through first two loops, yarn over, into that next stitch, pull through two, and then pull through the remaining loops on the hook. So once again, five double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and then a double crochet decrease in the next one. So we're going to do this all the way around for four rows and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so now I'll just put that stitch marker in there. So now it should, your broom should have started to fold back in on itself. So make sure that you have this little seam where we worked into the back loops only. Make sure you have that inside the hat. Now you're going to get your piece of cardboard from earlier and just going to tuck that inside the hat, inside, inside the brim. Now, if you need to trim some, you can trim some, or if you feel like you need to add another row, you can do so without any decreases. But most, if you're using just worsted acrylic yarn, it should have quite a bit of stretch because we've been using the, dub, the double crochet, so it gives it quite a bit of stretch. Now, we are going to... So we're going to find that row where we just worked into the back loops. And <laughs> you can slip stitch around if you like. You can just slip stitch all around. But just for a bit of extra security, to make it a bit more secure, 
I tend to just single crochet. It's on the inside of the hat, so you're not going to see this part of the hat anyway. So uh, I just go through the stitch and then into that one that we back looped into, pull through, yarn over and pull through. I just find it gives a little bit of a a little bit more security I find if you do a single crochet but you will get you can join with a slip stitch if you prefer so just work all the way around So at this point, we need to find the front of the hat. So the front of the hat is the side which has these increases in. It's just going to give us a little bit of extra room to work with. If you just going to give us a little bit of extra room to work with. So now when I think Harry Potter sorting hat, the most important part for me is the brow the brow so what we're going to do we're going to get we're going to get just a piece of yarn that we've been using and cut that off we're just going to make some adjustments inside the hat so we're not going to see this really from the outside you're going to need a th needle Okay, we're going to need a needle and a piece of wool. So we're just going to pinch this brow. So we can see, let me just see what you can see. Okay, so we're just going to pinch where the brow, where we think the brow would go, just like that. And so now we're going to reach inside the hat and we're going to just so these two edges so we're just going to put a stitch in here and a stitch about there on the inside of the hat so that you can't see it and it's just going to hold that in place let me do that now And now we're going to go across to this side and do the same on that side. So can you see that needle coming up through there? So I'm just going to do the same on that side. Pull it nice and tight. So that's his brow there. So then if we go inside the hat and just sew those tails in. Right, so there we have the brow. While we're here, we're just going to sew this tail in at the very top.
Now, we need to do the same sort of thing again, and this time we're trying to create the shape of a mouth. So to do that, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the brow to create lips. So we're going to do a top lip and a bottom lip. So thread your yarn needle. So I find uh, if you try and do that from the front like we did with the brow, you can get a bit fiddly. So I actually put my hand inside the hat and sort of create sort of as if it was a puppet just like that so as if you were going to play with a puppet Gryffindor <laughs> okay now so that's that shows me where I want my mouth to be right now So that was my top lip there. I'm going to go inside the hat. And pinch this side. And then same again over here on this side. Go up through there. Oh, now, there we are. Now with the lips, they, if it's not sitting nicely, you can do a bit of a pinch in the middle there to create that. But I'm just going to do the bottom lip first and see how it looks before I do that. So, the bottom lip is going to start here on this side and there on that side so I'm here my, th my yarn is here so I'm going to start on this side so it's not reaching across and I'm just going to go through there and pinch on this side Gonna scoot across here and throw that one in. Now, this is where we'll sort of just have a bit of a play around. So you can't really see it. I'll put it this way. So from this angle. It looks a lot more like a mouth than from that above angle that I've got the camera. So like this and I can and you can just pop a stitch anywhere along here like this bottom lip it seems to be not holding its shape how I want it to so I'm just going to put an extra one in the middle there to define the shape in the middle. Here is our final result for our Harry Potter sorting hat. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll try it on. You just try it on. It fits nicely. It's really fun to wear. Your hat should stay upright. Every hat that I've made with this pattern does stay upright. It's really fun to wear. Kids love them. They're a big hit with the kids. Thank you for watching. If you would like more tutorials like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the little bell and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.